Hello everyone, today we are going to say how to create purchase order in Zoho CRM from Zoho Creator. Alright, so uh, before we uh, create a purchase order, we have to know how the data is parsed through API. Alright, Zoho Creator parses this data in a, in a special way. We need to figure that out. So what I did, I just created the new purchase order with the owner ARBRC subject PL number vendor name also a, a simple product all right so let me also add uh, add another product uh, probably an iPhone all right so unit price is 500 42 something like this all right so let's save this so now this is our purchase order ID in Zoho CRM let's take this and uh, in a Zoho creator function before I create a PO I'm going to first say how it looks like in a response for that CRM uh, so we have that zoho.crm. Think uh, get records by ID module is purchase orders and the number is this. Oops, it's going to be an info. All right, let's first see how that purchase order looks like. Let's just take it, copy it. Probably use a text editor. Right, let me just put it right here. Let me do a replace using Command Shift and F. So I'll search for comma and uh, probably a quotation with uh, with a comma, a Shift Enter, and probably a quotation. A replace. Oops, no. Should be in current file. Replace here. All right. So let's just go with the mandatory fields. All right. So uh, let's see what are the mandatory fields here. If I edit it, or mandatory or whatever we require, probably PO number, subject, and vendor name. Purchase order owner too. So if you want, but PO number, vendor name, and subject. So let's just take these three fields and see how they are handled there. So uh, there are two sets of, of we don't need the status still. So we need vendor name. For vendor name, we will need an ID. All right, so that's for vendor. When you want to enter a vendor, you need to enter the vendor name and vendor ID. And then uh, for PO number, so why you, uh, it adds the ID is, and here is the SM owner ID. I'll also take that here and put it here. So SM owner ID is the purchase order owner's ID. So whenever you, uh, you see an ID field right next to that uh, actual value, you have to know that it is a lookup field. All right. So if you look at that purchase order interface, this is this is a lookup field. You just do a search, all right, so uh, and look it up. You know that's how you do it. And even for purchase order owner, you click on it, you search for users, and then you select one. So whenever it is a lookup field, uh, there's a difference between lookup field and a drop down. Lookup field means it is looking up data from other modules. For example, vendor name is looking up data from vendor modules and the purchase order owner is looking up users from user the default user you know a table or module so uh, that's the difference so when it is uh, looking up data from a different module to identify that particular record you also need to append that record id all right so now that we know this uh these values so these are the normal fields, the PO number and subject. So we can just leave them all just like this. You know, these three fields. So these two field sets 
or lookup fields, so you, you need to pass the ID. Three, these three fields set, these three fields, I'm sorry, these three fields are not lookup fields, they are regular fields, so you don't have to pass or append an ID, right, along with their value, all right? So this is the basic set, all right? Let's just create a purchase order just with these values. Let's not get into this product yet. Let's just create the purchase order just with these values. Let's just take this out and uh, let's go here. I'll just comment this particular line. All right, so when you create, when you want to create a PO, the syntax is this zoho.crm.create and then you pick the module purchase orders and you have to give a map here so to give a data map we will need to declare a map so for it I can declare it as PO map as a map of you know so I can use that uh, PO map right here now I need to put all these values into the map. So what I will do, I will put all these values into the PO map and uh, pass it to this function. All right. Before I put all these values into the map, you need to understand what a map is. Map is exactly like this. So it holds the key and value pairs. All right. So you, you give a key and you give a value. If I go to PO map, uh, if I want to add a value to the map, I use the function put. All right. So I use PO map put, and uh, I'll pass this vendor name as a key and test as value. All right. Uh, I may probably put a new video explaining all the data types along with this map, you know, type, explaining how it, they can be. Uh, manipulated inside Zoho creator functions and deliver scripting but for now map means key value pairs all right it's an object so now let me go ahead and add the next set all right let's see what happens so uh, this function cannot be written like this because it returns a value and you cannot leave it you know hanging out without you know any uh, subordinate functions or any like you know assignment values so uh, I normally do an info uh, okay so now we have it here let's see what happens I go ahead and execute it all right we see this uh, probably I should give this as one two three four five six so we'll see a difference let me do again. All right, so if I go here, click on purchase orders. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you see there are two records. That's why I put this one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, if I edit it, I will say vendor name, subject, purchase order owner, PO number. And uh, I also saw the grand total but I don't see it right now, but I also saw the grand total here. Yeah, it is here. So this is the step one of uh, our data map, all right? Now the step two is to add the products. We'll see about that in the next video. Keep watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.